We're just going to not fund states or cities or counties who have that kind of law in place. We're the Armed Attorneys. Today, we're talking about Second Amendment sanctuary cities. Is the movement picking up steam? Are they created equally? And are some are saying they're completely meaningless. We're going to talk about that. But before we begin, show your support for the Second Amendment by hitting that like button. And to kick things off, when we say Second Amendment sanctuary, Emily, what are we talking about? Yeah, so generally speaking, and you can find these in the forms of cities, counties, even states, right? I believe Texas is a Second Amendment sanctuary state, state yep. right? Um, but we're talking about you know this local government, governmental entity who's essentially saying, listen, uh, we don't trust the federal government. Right. And shocker. <laughs> yeah. For some reason. And so we are essentially formally declaring that we will not cooperate in enforcing any um, unconstitutional laws that infringe upon the Second Amendment that the government may want to enforce going forward. Is that a good summary? Yeah, I would no. say. And they're not all created equally. To answer that that second question, we have them from, you know, a strongly worded resolution, mm -hmm. you know, written by, you know, a city council all the way, you know, I'd say some intermediate of, hey, we are going to defund government agencies that cooperate with um, the federal government when it comes to restricting mm -hmm. firearms rights to I'd say the most, yeah, the most yeah. extreme ones are we're going to arrest our own employees of the government if they help facilitate the enforcement of federal gun laws. So we have this kind of spread of, you know, a strongly worded letter to, hey, they're going to start try to throw people in jail over this stuff. So yeah. they're not created equally. But when we talk about, you know, the Second Amendment sanctuary movement, would you say it's speeding up, slowing down, staying the same? What, what do yeah, you see? You know, I mean, I would say it is now slowed just a tiny bit, but it's still, I mean, like you have to imagine that like it's still going up, right? Yes. But we just had a big uptick, I would say probably summer 21, yeah. right? So probably about nine months ago now, and we had a big uptick with the sanctuary city, county, state movement, and it's still growing, but it's much slower than it was last year. Yep. Um, but I think, you know, particularly, you know, when you have, um, I think a you know chief executive and an ATF in place that are fairly anti-firearm. It makes people nervous. To say the so, least. Yes, it is not going to slow down. I don't think, at least within the next couple of years. But what I see kind of rumblings online, I see it on Facebook and on YouTube and all over the place that people are basically saying, are Second Amendment sanctuary cities meaningless? I say cities, but are Second Amendment sanctuaries period meaningless? Yeah, and I think you, we probably differ a little bit. I think you give yeah. them a little more credence than I do. Um, I mean, essentially, to me, the answer is yes. Um, you know, I mean, the, the spirit is willing, right? Yes. And I love that. Um, but there really is no teeth to them because ultimately the federal government can send in its own law enforcement officers and its own enforcement mechanisms to enforce federal gun laws. States can't make um, can't make it not a federal crime to break right. federal law. And so you have that issue, number one. And then what bothers me as well is that the federal government's really, really good at using its purse strings to encourage states to do what it wants them to do. So my favorite example of this is the federal government wanting states to raise the drinking age to 21. Um, and they did that. They made states raise their own drinking ages, right? They did it by tying that to the funding of highways, right? So states so really you couldn't saying say no. The reason why Louisiana's roads are awesome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Louisiana was the last to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that's really, I mean, a hypothetical, not even so hypothetically. In fact, I mean, there were some proposals by Joe Biden um, months back that I thought, ooh, is this the start of this carrot stick with sanctuary cities? Yeah. Um, so it's not so hypothetically. The government could say, oh, you want the federal funding that you normally get for your law enforcement bodies? Ooh, well, we'd sure love to do that for you, but you got the Second Amendment sanctuary in place, and we're just going to not fund states or cities or counties who have that kind of law in place. And my hot take, I, I agree with Emily in the sense that um, the overlapping jurisdiction of states and the federal government, if the federal government wants to come in, you know, the states don't really have mm -hmm. a lot of power to stop them in an area that the federal government chooses to occupy. And if, if they choose to regulate an area, you know, the states aren't really going to have a leg to stand on. But where I do think the movement does have some um, have some legitimate purpose in, in, in asserting our Second Amendment rights is most people come into contact with state agents um, if they're ever involved in you know suspected criminal activity and in the enforcement of gun laws for that matter. So when we see 
you know, this movement on a state level, on a county level, on a city level, I do think that it does impact law enforcement and how they view uh, folks exercising their Second Amendment rights. And because that's where we come into contact with them most, that's why I think it's so stinking important. But we want to hear what you have to say. Do you think the Second Amendment sanctuary movement is useless? You know, we disagree a little bit, but we want to hear from you. Do you live in a Second Amendment sanctuary? Yeah, no, yeah. exactly right. And if you enjoyed this discussion, you know, consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and help us fight the anti-2A algorithm by sharing this video. And please continue to question and comment below. Until next time, we're the Armed Attorneys.